We will now cover case creation on the customer portal. Log on to the portal. You will have privileges to create new cases and work with cases as configured by the delegated admin for those accounts. There is a separate video which covers delegated admins and how to configure user access. So let's create a new case. Go to the grey ribbon bar and select new case. You'll be provided with a drop down list of all accounts for which you have been given user access. Let us select an account. We then need to select the case type. Technical issue is for raising product related support cases for which you have entitlements. There are several other case types for other non-product related needs. Once you select the case type of technical, there are a number of required fields as indicated by the red asterisk. Firstly, let's select the products. Then we need to select the entitlement. In this case, the entitlement is business support. If you are a premium customer, you would similarly have an entitlement with premium in the description. We then need to select the product platform and the version for which it is relevant. Severity defaults to three and is a technical description. If you hover over the I, it provides you with a technical definition for severities. We'll leave this as the default of three. Priority is your definition. It is the importance of the issue to your business and this can be updated by you after the case has been created. Now let's put in a subject. When we move away from the subject to the description field, the knowledge base will automatically be invoked and searched for the contents of the subject as follows. At this point, you can choose to look at the knowledge information um, and maybe you would find the answer to your question in there and you no longer need to create a case. Alternatively, you can close that window and continue with the case submission. I will now submit this to create a case. You get this screen up here to say it's been successfully, although that automatically disappears. And then you're provided with some details of the case. This is the case number. They always start in a status of new. And the case owner for technical issues for non-premium cases automatically gets routed to the MFI support queue from where it will be assigned an engineer. For premium cases, these would be automatically routed to your assigned engineer. Further information on managing cases is available in another video.